Hello friends, my name is Surreal Emil and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo concept. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play and this is episode 5. And in today's episode we're heading back into the single race mode where we are going to be racing around Tokyo R246 forward and R246 reverse. So let's get into this and I think for our first race we are not going to use a racing car. Well, actually, um, yeah we are going to use a racing car, sod it. I really want to try out the uh, GTR Concept LM Edition because I think this car looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, let's just go with this. So I tried using that NSXR GT again. It's just, oh sorry, the NSXR LM Edition, uh, the road car. I think I'm just going to stop trying to use that car because ultimately it just does not have the straight line speed um, to cope with any of its competitors. So yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay. Take two at Tokyo R246 in the GTR Concept LM car. Um, on the last lap, I made a bit of a mistake going into the second corner. I spent the rest of the lap trying to fight out. I admittedly overtook the 350Z, which was the car in the lead, on the last lap and, oh sorry, on like the last turn. And then apparently he had the straight line speed and I didn't move over fast enough to uh, block him coming up. So yeah. Uh, having to uh, redo this one again, unfortunately. However, I have found out the GTR LM is a pretty damn good car to drive, actually. This really is a good, good car. It's very, very grippy. Um, admittedly, getting off the line is a little bit of a faff. I mean, it will wheel spin. Don't get me wrong, this car doesn't like third gear at all, or doesn't like being in anything that isn't fourth, fifth, or sixth. But. It definitely isn't bad, right? Fourth gear through there, we can be flat out, yeah. So yeah, this car is uh, extremely nice to drive. Admittedly, that uh, field back there is pretty cool. We got a Viper GTSR, a uh, Mazda RX-8, uh, a, ooh, okay, you can take a lot more speed through there than I dare to, apparently. Uh, how about through here? Yeah, that's pretty much spot on. I don't know how the AI can be that quick through that corner. That RX-8 really wants this position. I'm not going to let you have it though, buddy. Although you probably will take it at some point. There we go through there. Yeah, that's probably where the RX-8 is going to try and capitalise. Oh, never, no, actually he is actually fairly slow through that section. Yeah, I kind of left the door a little bit open there. But, nope, never mind. I am just going to completely cruise past the RX-8 apparently and destroy him, which is fine by me, really. Yeah, so here we go. Down the straight. Uh, things can touch in the GCR. It is a quick ish vehicle. It has more straight line speed than the Supra and by the looks of it than the RX-8. However, compared to the 350Z, which I believe the 350Z and this should be running basically the same engine and everything, um, I just think the 350Z might be a fraction lighter than this is because obviously the 350Z is a smaller vehicle than this GTR concept car. But let's just, let's just take a minute to um, establish our love for this car. Now again, I, I've said it before, I'm not a huge fan of the 2001 GTR concept car, however this LM edition, my god this looks good. Um, it actually from the front kind of reminds me of their um, Le Mans racer, that front wheel drive thing which didn't do very well. Uh, but yeah, pretty awesome looking car. And yeah, I don't know if this is in Gran Turismo from, or in any Gran Turismo from this game. I'm fairly certain it's not in GT6 which hopefully I'm being a idiot on that and forgetting about it because I would really like to drive this car in GT6 because it looks absolutely superb but yeah I mean I, I don't even think it was in Gran Turismo 4 to be perfectly honest with you um I don't remember it anyway unless it was like a prize car for some um missing event at some point but yeah I don't really remember this car I do remember the 350Z is definitely in um, Gran Turismo 6 because I believe it actually has both versions of the car, both the 350Z and the uh, Fur Lady Z as well. So, yeah, either way, we are once again in the lead. This has been a pretty unchallenging race, to be perfectly honest with you, which is perfectly fine by me. Got a 136.8 round there. The LM, yeah, the 350Z is in the lead of their pack, which again, that car has a lot of straight line speed, so that is not particularly surprising. Again, I do think the 350Z is probably the better choice of the two. Or at least I'm assuming that car is a bit lighter than this one. And then otherwise the statistics are the same. So probably I do recommend the GTR LM 
race car because it looks fantastic, it drives fantastic, it's great. Maybe the 350Z is actually the better of the two though, like in terms of lap time and stuff, but if you just want a cool car to uh, race in then this is definitely what you should go for. I mean the 350Z LM, sure it looks cool, it reminds me kind of of the um, FedEx 300ZX, but hey that rhymes. Um, it reminds me of that, but at the same time it's like, eh, it's just not as cool as this car. This car is awesome. Anyways, uh, we are three seconds up on the 350Z, so hopefully I don't cock up into these last few sections, because this is probably my least, or my least favourite section of the track, I should say. Uh, probably the one I'm worst at as well, even though admittedly I am not particularly great at R246. I do like it. It's one of the only city courses, or, yeah, actually, is it city courses? Yeah, it's one of the only city courses that I actually really get along with in Grand Chief. Well, I'm not a huge fan of Seattle, but R246 is pretty damn swagging. Anyways, we are going to win this race pretty convincingly. 136.665 to finish the race off. That was a 15-mile race. It's a lot longer than uh, midfield this. Anyways, that's the uh, field in case you're wondering. Apparently, the LM cars of the future are a lot quicker than the uh, race cars of the past. Anyways, we will receive a prize after finishing this session, so let's head over to the exit and see what our prizes are. We are going to get a Honda NSXR by the looks of it. That would be, or is it an NSXR or could it be the race car? Nope, it's the NSXR, that's for the normal level. And for professional level, you unlock another NSX by the looks of it. Uh, what NSX are we going to unlock? Oh. Oh, well, I guess we might use that at some point then, because that car looks amazing. I want it. I want that in my life immediately. Please give me it. Anyways, we are 52% of the way through the game now. Uh, so let's head on to R246 Reverse and get those vehicles for that particular track. Let's head to the professional level. Um, and R246 Reverse. Now, I do... I don't know, do I want to go for another race car or do I want to go with a pretty quick uh, road car? What have we got in here? Is there anything I could really use? Uh, ooh. That's a possibility. So is the Cadillac CM because that thing is mental. I think we're going to go for the Viper GTSR actually because I really like that car and I really want to use it. So yeah, hopefully this goes well. Not sh really sure what's going to compete with the uh, concept Viper, but there you go. Anyways, as it loads, we have got uh, basically the same field as you would get with the... Oh, we can actually change the car settings, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh... Oh, we can put softs on it. Yeah, let's do that. Uh... Can we tune downforce? No, apparently not. Uh... Okay, there we go. I guess that's kind of cool. You can kind of change your car around a little bit in that menu. Anyways, R246 Reverse, probably not the best track for the Viper GTSR, but nevertheless, hopefully I will have the straight line speed on everything else. Although, admittedly, there is a ZZ2 in this race, and the ZZ2 is uh, ludicrously quick. However, ooh, it looks like at least off the line I can beat a Nardo, which is um, pretty cool considering that Nardo is pushing almost 600 horsepower. This Viper has no way near that. Uh, we are going to run the G... Oh, God, poor roof. I'm sorry to the roof, even though I technically didn't really cause that. Anyways, we are behind the GT concept car, or the GT40, as it was known as at this time. Yep, that's definitely an English license plate back on the, sp on the back of the spiker, which is kind of interesting. Right. One thing we need to do is not battle too much among ourselves, gentlemen. We kind of need to push and hopefully dethrone the ZZS, because that car will destroy us if we let it. Uh, ooh, there we go. It's a... Uh, a little bit hard getting through there. Yep, as you can see, the ZZ will completely decimate us if we let it, because that car is, uh, it's quick. <laughs> it's very, very quick. All right, there we go, break through here. Not quite as nice handling as my uh, GTR was. I need to get used to that fact pretty quickly as well, because otherwise I'm not gonna do particularly well in this race. Oh, right. I need to get this GT40 out of my way pretty quickly. I need to dispatch of him uh, because... Actually, no, I don't need to dispatch of him. I might 
Unless he presents an opportunity, I'll probably wait until the straight, because hopefully... I mean, the ZZ does have more speed, but I do have... Well, I have Viper. Viper, what are Viper's known for. Uh, right. Let's, oh, the GT is going to walk away after shoving me in the uh, wall. Thank you, sir. Uh, that being said, by the looks of it, I'm not exactly going to leave his sight. And neither is the ZZS. Ooh. Does the Ford GT have more speed than the ZZS? That would be kind of interesting to uh, find out. Uh, they're certainly not leaving each other alone. I'll give them that. Right. Let's definitely break through here immediately. Uh, a little bit wide. Again, the AI, even in reverse, do take a tight line through that corner. We are right on the back of that ZZS. I don't know if the GT maybe slowed him down a little. Maybe if they're having sort of like a little battle among themselves. Uh, but, nevertheless, I'm quite happy for them to uh, go ahead and do the battle and stuff because it basically means I may or may not be able to take advantage of it. Although, that being said, for that section, I'm kind of slow. Uh, Viper's actually understeery, which is, or at least compared to my GTR race car, which, eh. It is a little bit on the understeery side. Anyway, there's a bit of smoke coming off the Ford GT through there. Yeah, I, I think the GT might have the straight line speed on me, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, actually, hmm, I don't know, maybe through like medium speed he has, and then just like overall top line I can get kind of close to the uh, GT. Because the Viper, I really love this competition coupe, it's my favourite model of Viper. Uh, actually, mm, I really like the 2013 Viper. That would be a tough choice. I think if you was to offer me the cars in real life, I would probably go with the uh, competition coupe because I assume this is worth a hell of a lot more than the uh, 2013 Viper is, so eh. But yeah, I do like the 2013 Viper a lot. Anyways, that was a little bit, but, yeah, a little bit of a botch through that corner, but nevertheless we are through there. Right. Oh, yeah, that Ford GT has straight line speed, but then we're like, eh. Let's see if I can get some slipstream off him. Oh, we are only one second behind the ZZ. I might be able to make a move on the ZZ on this lap. I'm hoping I can. At the end. Oh, there we go. Opportunity presented itself. I took the opportunity. I am sliding a little bit, but nevertheless, I am through. And it looks like the Ford GT might even come out on top of the ZZ through there, which would be really cool. Apparently, that, um, that GT concept car is a hell of a lot more quick than it, or quicker than it was in real life, because that car wasn't actually all that quick. Sure, it was quick in a straight line, because, you know, I don't know. Some people say the Ford GT is a muscle car. Uh, I personally wouldn't. The ZZ is looking to make a move on me. Admittedly, it looks like I'm going to be able to defend through that section, even though I can't be all that quick through there. Oh, we're coming up to one of my favourite sections. Well, not, I wouldn't say this is my favourite section of the track. It's just for some abnormal reason I am extremely quick through this section, so that's good. Right, I'm going to get the Ford GT on braking again. There we go through there. Right. I think they just take it a bit too tight through there. That's why I can sort of keep on speed because... Ooh. GT is going for a bit of a dive. I'm going to shut the door on him though. Come through here. There we go. Yeah, through that section as well apparently I can take a hell of a lot more speed. Right. Slow. Nice and easy. Don't need to completely decimate the GT. Ooh, he hit a wall. I was going to say, I'm going to keep an eye on him, though, because I really don't want his straight line speed to kick in. Uh, GT is starting to do the GT things. Oh, uh, I'm going to get him on the line, though. Thank Christ for that. All right, there we go. Ooh, that was a race and a half, actually. That was really fun. Um, admittedly, a little bit hair-raising. We, we, the W12 Nardo, which I would assume would probably be the quickest car on that field, Apparently not. Apparently he got pretty much decimated by the um, Viper there, which is kind of interesting. Anyways, for doing the normal version of this, we are going to get a car. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's got twin exhausts on it. It is going to be a Audi RS6 saloon car. Okay. And for doing it... Oh, God, I know what that is. Well... I guess that's going to make Thunder really happy. It's going to make me really sick. I hate that car. Anyways, there we go. We do have a Chrysler Crossfire. Nice. Classy. Classy. Anyways, as you can see, that's all the cars for Tokyo done with. In the next episode, we're going to be heading over to the Autumn Ring. And, uh, yeah, competing in those. Although, unfortunately, 
Uh, I'm going to need to go get the Autumn Ring Gold license at some point because otherwise we won't be able to see all of the prize cards for that. So yeah, anyway, stay tuned for the Autumn Ring in the next episode. And as always, friends, I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.